I model earthquakes to understand the formation of ancient continents. Now that may sound a little bit weird, but this is how it works. Think about the Earth 4 billion years ago. The Earth was just a massive ball of magma ocean with only a few bits of crust on top. Pieces of crust are still preserved nowadays and they um, stand at the heart of every continent on Earth. We need to look into the interior structures of these continental remnants. And I do this with earthquakes. Imagine you have a headache and you go to the doctor. The doctor puts you in an MRI machine, he shoots electromagnetic waves at your head and measures how they come back. Then he constructs a 3D image of your brain. In the same way, earthquakes generate elastic waves that travel throughout the Earth and get measured at seismograph stations all over the world. Now, I use this data to construct a tomographic 3D image of the Earth and thus to peek into the structures that are 300 to 400 kilometers below our feet. I am basically looking at ancient geological processes frozen in the structure of that region of North America. and I had to learn Fortran and Python for my work but at the same time I have to be a geologist to understand what my tomographic image shows and a physicist so I can relate my tomographic model to the geology and make sure it's a valid mathematical model. Um, I just think for me it's very intellectually stimulating to be able to try to absorb knowledge from all these different fields and put them together, combine them in order to construct a model and validate it and, and give an interpretation of what the early Earth looked like three billion years ago. It's, for me, the quest of such a story is fascinating and frustrating at times, of course, but it, I feel a bit like a detective. Like, I have to scour through hundreds of papers and trying to extract key points from them that are potentially useful for me, for my research, and that's just very fun and satisfying. I would just tell myself to relax, first of all, and to just not worry so much about the future. My grandma, she thought that me going to study geophysics in another country, in another language, was pure science fiction. And many people thought that I would crack, you know, I would not, I would come back, I would not be able to understand the courses, and yet I was top of my ear group, and now I'm doing a PhD at Imperial College London, so I'd say the future will be okay.